Hi and welcome to day three of um, my one sketch a day challenge. It's Lois here from Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's lovely to see you here. I hope you've been um, sketching along with me because it's great practice. Whatever style of artist you are, there's nothing quite like sketching to warm us up and get us really practised in the art of observing and in the sort of skills of our medium as artists. So I hope that you'll um, sketch along with me. If you do, then please um, share your work on Instagram using the hashtag, hashtag Lois Davidson Art, and it'll be great to see your work and to sort of see the kind of subjects that people choose if they're going to be sketching one sketch a day. I've done a couple of boats, so today I'm going to do this lighthouse. Um, I'm using a, a photograph from Pixabay as a rough sort of guide, but I'm pretty much going my own way with it, apart from using um, the elements in the photograph and the rough proportions. But the idea is just to keep practicing with my mark making, my sketching, my shading, trying different ways to sort of get my sketchy marks to work together on the page to create the overall image that I'm looking for. As you saw just now, um, I've chosen to paint this sketch. So it's done in pencil, a B pencil. I like a B grade for this sort of sketching because it's not too soft and not too hard. But if you like sketching, then just use whatever materials you prefer. Um, there's coloured pencils, uh, just sketch straight in with watercolour paint or ink. Um, there's, you know, there's, there's no rules for sketching, sketch in any medium that you like. And then in this instance, as you saw earlier, I've painted my watercolour just really roughly, just to bring that kind of atmosphere into it, to bring it together. But before I painted it, I went over my pencil sketch uh, with waterproof fine liners uh, because line and wash is at the moment my current favourite way to paint these sorts of landscapes and to sketch. So I'll leave you with some music and I'll come back at the end to just have a sort of a chat about um, what went on and how I feel about it. Remember, this isn't supposed to be perfect. This is an exploration. This is a fact-finding mission and practising different things. And it's just as much about finding out what you don't like as what you do like and getting things wrong as it is about getting things right. When you get things wrong as you sketch, you really do learn from it. So, And it's a brilliant way to learn as well. Start getting used to things um, not going right all the time and going wrong. That way you won't be upset when things go wrong. You'll just think, oh, that's interesting. And then try and work out what happened and then how you can correct it for the next time. And that's the way to learn and progress.
So I think I'm going to call that finished. Um, I really enjoyed putting those gulls into the sky just because they help to add to the sense of movement and um, stormy weather. And often it's just the little details like the gulls and the shadow on the right side of the lighthouse itself that just add the finishing touches to quite a rough sketchy sketch. I mean this is by no means um, a pretty sketch but it's a great fact-finding sketch because, for me, it's shown me how 
useful it is to have an atmospheric sky behind something as geometric as the lighthouse, but also how the application of paint needs to be really free and easy in order to evoke the atmosphere that I was trying to create here. And of course, it goes without saying that the tonal values are really important here, the darkest darks um, contrasting with the lightest lights and the kind of very random um, textures in the landscape contrasting with the geometric forms of the buildings. Well, I hope that was helpful. Uh, please leave us a like and um, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And um, click on the bell icon if you wish to be notified whenever we post. I'll see you soon, um, hopefully tomorrow, unless I run out of time. And I'll be back with day four, I think it is, of my one sketch a day challenge. Um, thanks so much. Um, we'll see you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye.